Hey guys, so keeping with uh, our unboxing theme with this one we have from War Machine uh, the Signar uh, Sentinel Light War Jack. Now this one is plastic. Um, there is your kit number right up there. Um, on the back of this one we actually have some little mini instructions. Um, which is actually kind of cool because most of what I've been getting uh, doesn't have any instructions at all. Um, let's see. So, pretty minimal. Um, we'll get that out of the way. <clears throat> Here's our stack card. Uh, I do like that they put it into a plastic sleeve. Um, it came that way, I didn't have to do that. But for you guys that want to know, here are his stats on the back. All right, so we'll set that to the side. All right, so it comes baggied like this, uh, two separate pockets. we have our medium sized base and what do we got here this looks like uh, the majority of the the jack body um, pretty well detailed I can tell that I'm probably unless it's supposed to be that way I'm probably going to have to kind of heat it a little bit because this bottom portion is kind of warped. I don't know if you can tell how it goes to the side, but that's easy enough to just heat it under some water. <clears throat> We've got a little flash right here. Um, we have what looks like a pour mark and then uh, from them kind of grabbing it and yanking it off, um, there's gonna be a whole uh, piece of chain here, which, uh, will need to be drilled out. Um, we've got a seam line here that comes across here. Uh, looks like a seam that comes across here. We have another little pour mark there. And some flaws on the shoulders. In there. You know what? It actually. Okay, I know that this was. Okay. So, I know that this was brand new. You guys just saw me open it in the back. But it was already, like, partly put together, which was really weird. I was like, uh, that doesn't look right. Okay, so. You have your your main chest area, um, and then you have the back, which that will go into there. Now, <clears throat> I've never been a fan uh, when I the first time I messed with uh, the miniatures. I was young um, and working with uh, um, like D and D and things like those those and they were okay. Um, the newer metal miniatures like for the War Machine and stuff, I've been really impressed with, um, actually more so than their, the plastic counterparts that they're coming out with on there. Um, okay, so here's the shield. Um, nice details. It's gonna look pretty good. So, so we can kind of see how get an idea how this is supposed to go. Um, here's leg one and leg two. And you can't see it, but I can see that through the hole on here, there's a thin spot. I can see light through the, the other side. Again, not a big detail or a big problem, but you know, it may irritate some people. 
do 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 I do like the, the plug and play. Oh, that's how I end up viewing it anyway. That's right or not. And of course, I'm going to have to fidget because <coughs> there's some odd stuff that. just need some tweaking. Where's an arm? Where's an arm? Okay, so we got the smokestack that's on here. Again, some seam lines, not horrible. Looking at this, it's just supposed to be glued on there. Hell, I don't know. But I think I'm going to stick a magnet in there for that. Um, let's see the chain belt. So, and then as it comes shooting out, no, I refuse. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So we've got that. We can't stick that on there, obviously, because it needs to be magnetized. The other side, we have this arm which will go on like that I'm sorry I'm looking at the instructions at the same time it's kind of fiddly okay so that'll go to the body glued on like meh yeah, and then attached like so all right guys so there's that for you not bad kind of cool <clears throat> get everything all laid out here for you all right so you get stat card medium base You've got the mini. It's about two uh, about two inches tall, uh, a little bit taller if you count the stack on there. Um, shield. This one's going to be uh, another interesting one. I can already tell you that there's going to be some modifications needed um, just for stability and uh, just to finish out the looks. Uh, some green stuff's going to be needed for those marks. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. We got many more on the way. Talk to you later. Peace out.